Look, 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 look. I won, I won, I won the second game. Well, we won. Team effort. Yay, 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 yay.
Hello. I'm wearing a sweater. Wow. Ah. Although it is going to get warmer in the next few days, so... And plus, I'm about to go out, and I don't think I should wear this sweater. I think it'll be warmer down on the ground, but... I don't know. But it's fine. I'm getting a tattoo next week. No, later this week, and... I'll get to show it off wearing t-shirts again. Eh. Anyways, so I've just finished packing my orders that have come in over the past few days. I'm going to go out and drop those off at the post office. Since I'll be out, might as well go do something else, which is go get a bagel. Black seed bagel, turkey reuben, no sauerkraut. I love so much and I haven't had in a little bit. So I think I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go downtown and eat that. Yay. And then I think I'm going to go to a coffee shop. Why do I say I think? I am going to then go to a coffee shop that is right beside Black Seat Bagel. And it's not even, a, is it even a coffee shop? The Ace Hotel, their like lobby is also a great workplace. Very moody, very dark. So perfect vibes. I really need to work on a freelance commission work. Crazy. Me who has historically said that I hate drawing times have changed. I love digital drawing now, but uh, yeah, I have a commission. Very exciting. So I really need to finish my sketch for that and get that to persons involved and yay. I also really need to work on sticker sheets. I've been working on this bird sticker sheet, my bird sticker sheet, for literally so long but it just takes me so long to finish each bird because everything has to be so detailed and there's so many colors because you know they need to be depicted to the best of to show their greatness agency you know what i mean so it's taking me literally so long so don't say anything if you see the sticker sheet be more expensive honestly i should make it into a print because i love the birds so much the birds that i feed on my fire escape and the one squirrel whom I have named Guinevere now. It's a girl squirrel. Squirrels in my pants. So yeah, I need to work on that. I also need to, I'm doing an artist market on the 21st. Very exciting. I want to have like an exclusive sticker um, only available at the booth then. So I need to finish that. I need to redo it because I don't know if I like it anymore. I already drew it, but then now I looked at it again and I'm like, mm. I don't know about it. So, gotta work on that. Another sticker sheet, this one that I made, it's like, I, it's called Everyday Spook. It's like little elements, you know, when you're journaling and you, they're just like little bald spots. You feel like you just need like a little bat or like a little something, something here and there. It's that kind of sticker sheet. I want another one. I have other ideas. So, um, that one should be relatively quick to do, but I need to do these things today so that I can put in orders so that stuff can come in, restock, my Halloween sticker sheets have sold out, my bookmarks have done well. <laughs> A couple have sold out, so I need to order some more of those. I also need to order stock for the artist market. Lots to do. Very exciting stuff though. I really appreciate all of it. Thank you. Packed my orders, gonna drop those off and then head downtown for lunch and then to work. And I'm gonna work on my iPad and whenever I take my devices out and about, I always make sure that my VPN is on. So thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I always have my VPNs on because it's important to practice safe public Wi-Fi habits. Always have your VPN on because you never know who's out there on these public Wi-Fis. NordVPN is the most advanced VPN. They afford you a level of privacy. They block malicious websites, stop web trackers, monitor your data leaks. They have a dark web monitor. There's MeshNet, Threat Protection Pro, all important for your life on the internet and to keep safe. Besides being safe on the internet, I also use VPN to access movies and shows that are not available in whatever country I'm in. Like the other week, I was in Belize and, and in America. It's also relevant to America too, but I wanted to watch Coraline, but it's not available in either of these countries. So I just put my little VPN on for Japan Netflix because Coraline was on there. So got to watch it. Perfect. NordVPN has servers in 111 countries. So there are many to connect to on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm usually just connected to the New York VPN, but in the special circumstances when I need to watch something. So if you'd like to check out NordVPN, make sure to click the link in the description of this video. They also have a money back guarantee, so no need to worry, but also love NordVPN. Use it literally every day. So thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring this video. <laughs>
there's stuff on my contacts and I literally feel blind and I already came into this bathroom to clean them off but it's so dark in here I can't see anything Rocky pooped and stepped in his poop while I was gone, so he had to have an emergency bath. I mean, he did need one, but we were procrastinating.
Hello. Towards the end of the year, I kind of want to film a more in-depth uh, what I use all my notebooks for, but for right now, I'm still working out how what I'm doing, and I have got some questions about my 2025 Hobonichi picks, but I this year I moved out of the Hobonichi weeks, and I started doing my own kind of thing. I'm using Megan Rhiannon's Filofax inserts, like planner printables have them linked um my binder is from amazon because i didn't know if i was going to stick to this different um format that i had switched to um i just wanted to have more freedom to control like the pages and then to have like you know like my daily spread and then also to insert as many collage pages as i want between the weeks um but and also like reduce from having like a week's Anna journal because the journal where I did all the collage stuff, I just kept neglecting and not really, you know, using it. And then, so I've been using that for a little while, but I also wanted for the like, past few months, but I also wanted a, a book to write more, like just thoughts and feelings. And at first, and I knew I could do that in my regular everyday like journal. I, I'm just calling it a commonplace journal at this point, but... I know I could do that in there, but I just didn't feel like I needed still like some kind of structure, some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Like I always felt like I, I always feel like I need to do like a little collage or something. So I got the Hobonichi A6 spring uh, so that I could test out if I wanted to use that like as a archiving place or like a place where I just like have space to write down things of one thought. I can like, yeah, archive, go back and, you know, put stuff, ephemera that doesn't fit in to the week's collage, um, but I don't want to make an entire collage for, I can just throw them in there. Um, and at first I was saying it was only for writing and not, you know, no pressure to put stickers and stuff and decorate, but of course I can't help myself and I have been doing uh, stickers, but I was saying as well, like I don't have to, I'm not trying to write in it every single day. But sometimes, like, if if there's, like, one event, I want to be like, this is when the squirrel came and I, I played with the squirrel for a little while. I put a picture of the squirrel. Her name's Guinevere. Anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. So those are, like, my two daily journals. Just my, like, regular everyday journal. Um, wait, did I finish saying that I, I got the binder from Amazon? Because I didn't really, like, do any, like, in-depth research of what kind of... Um, uh, journal or binder I wanted because I didn't know if I was going to stick to that yet and so I just got a cheap one off Amazon. Also the paper is supposed to be A6 but it I didn't look at the reviews <laughs> and it's not the correct size for an A6 even though like the listing says for that but I like the texture of the paper and I like the color of the paper so I'm sticking with it and the Megan Rhiannon's printables aren't the size of an A6. I think they're A5, so I just kind of have to move things around in my own, my bad, oopsie, but whatever. I like this size. It look, it's been really working for me here recently, so um, yeah, like I said, towards the end of the year, I'm, I plan on, don't hold me to it, <laughs> uh, doing more in-depth video on all my notebooks and also probably what I plan on doing next year um, for journaling so that'll probably be around December time. May if you want to remind me do that. <laughs>